Ah. Romance Dawn. The start of the story. The start of a legacy. You think it romance Dawn? What is this shit? They about to get romantic or some shit? Like what? What? Nah, knock it off. New adventure. Let's get it though, you know? Alright, romance Dawn is the start of the adventure. I'm going to say it like this too. Romance. Like for me personally, I'm just going to keep it honest with you guys. Um, the whole East Blue Saga sucked for me. It's super slow. I didn't have a good time watching it. It was hard getting through all that shit. You know, it starts off slow. It starts off clunky. You know, weak sauce. But it honestly doesn't pick up till like Arlong Park. But there are some cool little scenes that happen here and there but like every story it starts off slow you got to build up to shit you know you can't just jump right into action and that's the same for one piece you feel me but yeah uh romance dawn is the first three episodes and they introduce our boy zoro up in this bitch you feel me he meets zoro in the second episode if i'm not mistaken but the first episode starts off by showing Nami being the f***ing little schemer that she is. A little scallywag, you feel me? Um, it really shows Kobe, right? And Kobe is this little punk-ass kid. This is a little square, weakling little boy, man. You know, this little scaredy cat. And he's basically been deboed by this pirate captain, Big Mama Alvita, right? And they're like, you gonna stay up on the ship and work for us? Little scared little boy. But, you know, it happens. Not to me, you know, and not to Luffy or somebody that's strong. But to Kobe, it does, because, you know, he a But it, it don't matter. It is what it is, right? And this kid, he finds a barrel, right? Drifting along in the ocean, right? And they pull that bitch out. Take it to the back. What's inside this barrel? Legendary treasure, baby. A legendary treasure. Is in this motherfucker, bro. That's Luffy is a damn self, bro. You feel me? The One Piece himself. Or at least that's what I think. I think Luffy's the One Piece, but I'm not even gonna get there, okay? That's just a whatever. But yeah, he finds Luffy, bro. Boing! Wait, pops out. Oh, I'm up in this bitch, man. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it now. Let's do it, though. You feel me? That's what he does, right? I will say, though. When he first meets, when Luffy first meets Kobe, he's like a little bit mean. He's like, you're a little punk, bro. Kobe tells him the situation. Luffy is like, you're a little punk, bro. You're a little bitch. Goofy, that little boy. Even though I would have did the same, it's still me. You feel me? So, but yeah, they got the fuck perre, you know? They got the perre, and they go to a nearby town, and that's when he meets Zoro, bro. And Luffy's like, hey, I, let's squat up. He's like, all right, let's get it then. He's like, let's get it. And he's like, all right, let's get it then, bro. I got you. I got you. You also meet a character called uh, Axe Hand Morgan, but he ain't really no threat. Like, Luffy puts the motherfucking beats on that kid. He beat that motherfucking boy up so bad, bro. In front of his crewmates, man. In front of his crewmates. They embarrassed the kid. Don't even worry about Axe Hand Morgan. He ain't important. You also meet his punk little son, Helmeppo. And for the most part, he ain't even important either. F*** him too. That's, that's, uh, romance done for you, bro. After that, Luffy and Zoro get the f*** out of there, bro. Kobe's little punk ass vows to be a Marine. And Luffy puts his nuts to the wind. And they just sail forward, baby. On the Orange Town, you feel me? I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for we.